Hi, this is Mans from Quest for a Farm. Um, please follow our channel if you want videos that are showing you our progression from city slickers to homestead dwellers and all the shenanigans that we're getting up to. So for today's shenanigan, we are sorting out our mealworms. Okay, I'm brand new to mealworms. I don't know if you might have gone back and seen a video that I did on superworms. The difference between the superworms and the mealworms is there's a huge size difference. So I've got chickens and I've got quails. The superworms are kind of better for the chickens and the mealworms are great for the quail. It's a nice manageable little chomp for them. So um, here is what my little boxy of superworms look like. Mealworms. Oh, mealworms look like. And basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them in their forever homes. Super quick and easy, guys. I'm just using a recycled ice cream container and a recycled margarine container. Um, so you have to, the only differentiation you need to do is you need to separate the mealworms from the pupae because apparently they can cannibalize. So just to give you an idea, this is what a mealworm looks like. See, I'm much better with the mealworms than I was with the superworms. Okay, and this is what a mealworm pupa looks like. I'm slightly less okay with the pupa. Oh, is it going to start jiggling? Okay, that is the little pupa. So this little guy is going to, in a week or two, he is going to have, uh, develop out or hatch out or whatever into a beetle and the beetle is going to lay eggs and give me more superworms. Mealworms. So, worms. Damn. <laughs> uh, okay. So all I need to do, I will be poking a ton of holes in this lid and this lid. Um, the substrate that I'm using is wheat bran. So guys, this is the easiest thing that you will do for your chicken or your quail or your fishing expeditions. You are going to chuck about two and a half centimeters or an inch. If you don't have wheat bran readily available to you, you can quite happily use, um, we call it milly meal, it's um, corn flour, corn, corn maize meal, corn meal. Um, flour made out of corn. <laughs> yes, that one. Um, and you can also actually use oats. So I use the wheat bran because it is readily available here by me and it is cheap as chips. So I'm going to pop some in here. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to have my worm population in here and my pupa and eventually my beetles in here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging out these little pupa and popping them in here. Yes, nice. Big one. If you don't do this, you're probably going to be okay. Um, you'll just have... Oh no. Um, you'll just have a few more losses than perhaps you wanted to because, as I said, they can cannibalize. Um, if you can deal with that, then you're golden. Then all you need to do is keep them in here and let them go and go and go and go. Um, I want to be, I want to sort of err on the side of caution. So I'm digging as many out as I can. I've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, these little beetles can lay up to 500 eggs in their lifetime. So if we miss a couple of them or lose a couple of them, we're actually going to be all right. We've got 150 mealworms in here to begin with. There's a few more there. And then once I've done removing all the pupa, I will just literally chuck the rest of 
the mealworms back in here. Then I hear you asking me, what is this gross stuff? So basically what you need to do is you need to, oh, it is gross, isn't it? Um, I am not responsible for this. I bought them from the pet store like this. So basically these are old dried out slices of potatoes. You want to give your mealworms and your superworms as well um, a slice of potato or a little piece of carrot or a little piece of vegetable or something that is going to serve as more than food. It'll serve as a water source for them. So there you have it. We'll check back in a couple of weeks time. I'm hoping in two weeks' time we'll see some little beetles scurrying around in here. I do believe we will. I have faith in my worms. Ooh, that one was wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. These are worms. These are pupae. Seem to be soon to be beetles. And um, stick around, see what happens, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.